I'm, I am. I'm pretty much to the point where, yeah, I'm financially destitute. It sucks. So it is what it is. I don't think <clears throat> that teenagers would enjoy my content at all anymore. Back in the day, absolutely. Why? Because my commentary back in the day, excuse me, my commentary back in the day was all immature. It was sex jokes. It was racial jokes. It was stupidity, right? And I did that on purpose because when I started on YouTube, that was the general audience, all right? But over the last 15 years that I've been on YouTube, I've evolved and changed as a person and a creator. I'm not making that kind of content anymore. I've purposefully changed who I am and what I make to have more meaning to my specific audience who actually know who I am and what I stand for. Find it for adult humor. You've got sex jokes, you've got fart jokes, scat humor, nasty, really gruesome style stuff. Everything that you would expect. Because as many moronic, mouth-jeweling idiots out there who just jump on a hate bandwagon of viral memeing, the lol cow bullshit that makes no fucking sense when applied to me, if you apply it in general to many others, I mean, take a look, I hate to say it, at some of the people who are called the lol cow crew out there, what content do they make and why are they called that? Well, do they have curated content for a specific audience or are they just pumping out stuff and trying to ride the coattails of embarrassment, viral embarrassment on the internet for pity box? That's not me. I tell you specifically, don't ever contribute to my content because of haters and hater activity or anything like that. I only want you to contribute to DSP Gaming and DSP Reacts if you like the content I'm putting out. Only like a video if you truly enjoy it. Leave a comment if you want to help me create more curated content specifically for you because that's how I continue to succeed. But I'm not making stuff to just get a, get a buck. If that were the case, I absolutely would have changed many, many years ago. I would have ridden every popular trend. I would have had the fucking my face on every thumbnail, eh, or ah, oh, or whatever it means to be, right? With the same fonts, the same tags. I would have collaborated with people. I would have taken sponsorships. I would have been a paid shill. I had all those opportunities laid out in front of me like all the other YouTubers, and I turned it all down. I never did any of that shit on purpose. Sure, I, you know, what the fuck? Because for me, I want to be rewarded for the work that I do because you like the content I put out that's curated for you and you reward me by supporting it via crowdfunding. That's the relationship we have. That's the difference between me and all those pe other people out there that people compare me to. Look at the shit they put out. Do you think these people enjoy what they're doing? <laughs> yes. The kind of content they're putting out? A lot of them even said publicly they don't. They only do it because it's all they can do making money. It's pretty sad. I enjoy what I do. I love what I do. Because I actually have a meaningful audience who I can interact with on a daily basis. And I don't have to do things I don't like to make a living. Let's put it that way. I'm sorry I don't believe you. <laughs> I'm sorry I totally don't believe you. I can be who I want to be and be okay with myself at the end of the day and the things that I do on stream and I can still make a living doing it, that's the ultimate goal, is it not? I don't harm anyone with the content that I put out. Literally name one person who gets harmed by me sitting here playing video games or having fun conversations with you every day. I don't have to bring people down. I don't have to make drama content. I don't have to be a scumbag to other people, right? Nor do I want to be dragged into other people's nonsense or drama either, right? I, I absolutely positively try to ignore all of that so that I can make positive, fun content for my audience who I curate that content for. That's the difference between me and other content creators out there. I'm not making mainstream content so that it's virally popular for every kid to digest and send me money because they think that I'm some hot shit who dresses up like a fucking G.I. Joe character with a fucking fake mustache and fucking sunglasses and screaming at a fucking camera acting like an idiot. I don't have dyed fucking hair so I look like a cartoon character so that kids will ask their mommy and daddy to buy my merch. I don't fucking put out virally very dangerous content, drama content, slander content, literally only bringing down others for my own personal gain. When other people have a bad day, I don't profit. Hello, my children. Right? I don't do any of those trends whatsoever. Why? Because they don't mean shit to me. I'm not here just to make content for a buck. I never was. 
I am a curator who makes content for the audience that I'm trying to speak to and be meaningful to on a daily basis. And if it wasn't, and here's the truth that my haters don't ever want to exp uh, admit. If this wasn't true, I wouldn't be here today. Because if this wasn't true, if I didn't have an audience that appreciated who I was, the content I put out, and the fact that I curated specifically for them, if my content had no meaning to anyone, I wouldn't be here. Why not? Because I don't do what everyone else does. Again, no drama, not trying to take advantage of children, and I'm not doing lol cow shit and embarrassing myself on fucking stream, taking my shirt off and sucking cucumbers and doing fucking stunts for money. Lol cow, lol cow. I don't do any of that shit. I just sit here and make content I like. And you guys like it too, and I get to make a living doing it. That's the difference between me and everyone else out there who tries to drag me down into their toxic shit. So I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear a dumb motherfucker out there say that, oh, he's this he's this lol cow group, he's that. I'm nothing. I'm my own man. I'm my own anomaly. One among many who stands alone differently. I will not be brought into your horse shit because you all had to follow the bullshit trends to make a living. And yet either had to embarrass yourself or hurt people to fucking do it. I never had to do that. That's something to be proud of. That's something to feel good about. When you're part of this community and you support this content because you like it, you should be like, wow, that's something different that I actually cre helped create via my support. That's why Phil's still here. You know? Not listening to the toxic nonsense of morons who are jealous. Why do you think people try to bring me into their drama all the time? Because they're fucking jealous that I can do this and not be in their bullshit. They're so pissed that they have to do those embarrassing things in order to make a living and they want me to have to go down to that level too. I will never have to go down to that level because I'm not like them. You understand? You're never going to see me acting like that because I don't have to be because you guys allow me to do what I love, truly love, rather than, wow, I just have to fucking sit here and do shit I truly hate, but it's the only way I can bring in money. That's pretty fucking sad. Okay? It's not true. No one believes you. You're an idiot and it doesn't work. Okay? So, now here's the truth. I wish them all the best. Every person out there who's malicious, every person out there who's done messed up things, I wish them all the best. I just wish that all these people would look in the mirror and realize how truly harmful they are to themselves, to everyone else around them, to people who watch YouTube, to kids, to all these audiences that basically are being abused and or exploited. I wish they would just realize that because then maybe they would actually try to do something better for themselves, for their audiences, whatever it may be. But sadly, YouTube has become a place where there really is no one caring about that. That anyone can get over for any reason and there's no one to say, well, wait a minute, that's really messed up because you actually messed, did this, you hurt this person, you exploited this group, you did this. No one does that. Instead, as long as it rolls in and is popular and gets views and makes money, it must be good. That's completely wrong. There's people on YouTube right now who everyone love, and if you actually analyze them and who they really are and what they really do and the businesses that they're really running, you'd be appalled at who they really are. But no one looks that deep because we all want to similarly feel like we could be like them, right? These big celebrities now who are big popular people, right? That, oh my God, this person had a million view video. That must be a great person. What? <laughs> what? I am here to tell you folks, as someone back in the day who had viral popularity, all right, viral popularity begets more viral popularity. When you're popular, you're popular for popularity's sake until something bad happens and then you've fallen from grace, correct? So you're Mr. Popular until the day when there's a reason to turn against you and then everyone will virally turn against you because it's just as fun to tear down the person who's popular as it is to jump on the popularity bandwagon. And that's what happened to me, is for a while I was the virally popular YouTuber. And then all of a sudden This Is How You Don't Play came out and it became, oh, so popular, jump on the negativity bandwagon and crap all over Dark Side Phil. Today, the vast majority of people who don't like me don't even know why. I don't care if another YouTuber who doesn't really watch my shit heard through the grapevine that DSP's a, a, you know, a bad YouTuber and talk shit about me. Who the fuck gives a crap? They, they just heard something, right? Oh, I heard something about that guy, right? Do you even know who I am? Did you watch any of my content? Oh, no, I just heard something about him. He's bad news. Wow, so you're an idiot. 
because you didn't actually do anything for yourself. You just listened to stupidity from mouth drooling idiots who benefit from toxicity on the internet. You know, like the fucking side scrollers, complete fucking dunces who didn't do an iota of real research. They just listened to like a thousand haters. I mean, you have to be the dumbest people on the fucking planet to think that way. Sadly, that's how most people think on YouTube today. They don't actually go out of their way to look to see what someone stands for, to see why there would be positive meaning behind a piece of content that someone puts out. Instead, let's just focus on the viral memes because their haters think that they're a bad person. It's insanity. And that's what I mean. That's rampant on YouTube. It's either someone's ultra squeaky clean popular or someone's just a scumbag. Where's the in-between, right? In reality, no one's perfect. In reality, no one has <clears throat> the ability to be immune from mistakes, right? Everyone makes mistakes. Does that mean that someone should be completely buried? That someone should be completely destroyed because they made a few mistakes over the years? Should the bandwagon of hate continue endlessly for the dumbest fucking reasons? Even when some of the reasons have been disproven and aren't real, just move on to another one, right? I mean, it's really messed up how the internet has treated me over the years. And you know what? Again, as long as I'm able to make content for an audience as small as it is, as long as you guys enjoy this content and you continue to support it, I want you to understand that's all I care about. I will continue to be here for you guys and make this meaningful content. And you can, please can tell you to... Tell me how much it means to you, and I really appreciate that. As long as we have that back and forth, that curation, right? I'm going to keep doing it. I'm going to keep going, man. You know, the day that I come to stream and I see absolutely no one who's being positive and no one who seems to be getting anything, you know, good out of what I'm doing is the day I retire. All right? I'm going to make that commitment to you right now. All right? I'm seriously, I'm going to put my hand up and I swear to you right now. That the day when I come to a stream and I turn on this stream and no one positive is here saying, this is meaningful, this is fun, I love your content, I, you know, whether it's something I like to listen to every day because I like to listen to news stories or what's going on with you, or I, I like having a fun conversation with you on a live stream, I learned if this game was worth my time, you know, all the things that I do, you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You aren't funny. You don't make content. You're ugly. You suck. Yada, yada, yada. All the day when that goes away and tell me that's no meaning to what I do, I will retire. I commit that right now because that's all I care about. It's not about paying the bills for me. It's about meaning, okay? And the thing is, you guys have told me over and over, we love what you do. Even as, as small of an audience as it is that I have, I, I would argue, if you take a look truly at my audience, there's probably 10,000 people on this planet who actually really enjoy my content but they're not here all the time. There's probably like at all times in a, in a day, maybe a thousand positive people who watch my content and like it and they, they'll watch the different various things. You know, a few hundred on this video, a few hundred for this other game. They don't all watch everything that I put out. On a given day, you probably get a thousand unique viewers and then probably, like I said, probably 10,000 people on earth who actually still like Dark Side Phil's content and follow me and wanna, wanna watch what I do. And that's enough for me, man, to know that there's that many people who actually really love who I am and what I'm doing and that understand that that's why I push forward through all this nonsense, that that keeps me going. So thank you for that, really. And when you share your stories of what, you know, how what changed something or meant something to you or whatever, that is so cool to me to hear that that's, again, that's why I want to keep doing this. You understand? So thank you for that. But that's why I'm a content curator. I'm not a content creator. A content creator is someone who just shovels shit out. A content curator is someone who makes specified content that's meaningful to their specific audience and don't care about mainstream popularity. That's me to a T. That's the definition of who I am. All right? That's what I stand for. Curation, not creation. All right. That's my new slogan. Curation, not creation. There you go. Plan for retirement. Retirement. Dude, I can't pay my day-to-day -day bills. Right now, my bank account is overdrawn. I'm not even kidding you. Right now, my bank account is overdrawn. Where, there's no money for retirement. At one point in my life, much earlier in my life, I was saving money for retirement, and that's all been spent because I had to spend so much money to make ends meet out here. So...